Hello and welcome to our channel. In today's video, we'll guide you through the steps to remove this malware from Windows 10 or 11 PC. First, we'll show you how to find and delete the app that has likely brought the malware into your PC. Then we'll help you clean your task manager from rogue processes. And after that, we'll focus on going through different system settings and revoking any changes made by the malware. Finally, we'll explain how to clean your browsers from any unwanted modifications made to them. Make sure you complete all the steps in the same order. And if you don't understand something, check the description and the pinned comment for our dedicated article. The first step when trying to remove malware from your PC is to enter safe mode. To do that, go to the start menu and open settings. Next, go to update and security for Windows 10 users or to system if you're on a Windows 11 and then open recovery. Now on Windows 10, click Restart Now under Advanced Startup and wait for your PC to restart. To do the same thing on Windows 11, go to Recovery Options and click the Restart button. Once your PC restarts, the next steps are the same for both versions of Windows. You need to go to Troubleshoot, Advanced Options, Startup Settings, and then click Restart. Finally, select Safe Mode with Networking or simply press F5. Then click restart and wait for your PC to boot into safe mode. Here we have to warn you that the following steps you'll need to be especially careful. As a disclaimer, we need to clarify that if you delete the wrong thing, you may damage your system integrity. The steps provided are to be followed at your own risk. We recommend installing an anti-malware program to do everything for you. Our top recommendation is Spy Hunter, which offers a free trial period. We recommend trying Spy Hunter first before the other programs because we use it for our testing and it has the best odds to remove the malware. We've linked the program below alongside several other reputable antivirus solutions. When trying to remove this malware, you should first check your installed programs and delete anything suspicious. Begin by opening the start menu and typing apps and features. Then hit enter and sort this list of programs that appears by install date. Look at the most recent entries and see if there's any items that look suspicious, unfamiliar, or if there are any ones that you don't remember installing. If anything grabs your attention and you don't think it should be there, click on it, click uninstall, and carefully follow the prompts to delete the program. If you're not going to use a program, we recommend creating a system restore point before you proceed. To do that, open your start menu, type create a restore point and press the enter key. Then look at the drive where Windows is installed and see if its protection is turned on. If it's currently disabled, select that drive, click configure and enable the turn on system protection option. Then allocate a couple of gigabytes of space to be used for restore points by dragging the slider to the right and click OK. Now you can create a system restore point for this drive. To do that, simply click on create, type a name for the restore point and click OK. If you want to restore a point, simply click on system restore, click next, select the restore point you created and click next again. Next, press together the control shift and escape keys to open the task manager and click on more details if you don't see the full list of processes. Now sort the processes by CPU usage and then by memory usage to see which ones are the most resource hungry. If among those processes, you notice anything that seems suspicious and could be linked to the malware, right click it and select open file location. Now right click the process again, select end task and then immediately delete everything in the file location folder that you just opened. Do the same thing with all processes in the task manager that seem linked to the malware. Remember that the process name may differ from what you see in the video, so use your discretion and common sense to decide which ones to target. If a given process keeps restarting or you aren't allowed to delete the contents of its folder, leave it be for now and try again later, after you've gone through all the other steps. In addition to rogue processes and the unwanted program installs, this malware has likely made changes to different types of system settings that you need to undo. So here's how to do it. First, go to the start menu again, type view network connections and press enter. Right click on the icon of the network you're currently using and go to properties. Find in the list of items the internet protocol version for entry, click it and click on the properties button. 
Then make sure the option Obtain an IP address automatically is enabled and go to Advanced. In the next window, assess the DNS tab and see if there's any DNS server addresses listed there. If you see anything on that list, select it and click Remove to delete it. Finally, click OK on everything. Next, type this in the Start menu or copy-paste it from the video description and then hit Enter. If asked to choose a program, click on Notepad. When the file opens, check if there's anything written below the two local host lines at the bottom. Sometimes malware programs will add custom IP addresses there, so if you see anything, delete it. Then go to the file menu and click save to save the changes. Next, you need to check the startup items on your PC. To do that, search for startup apps in the start menu and press enter. Review the list of applications and switch off any that appear suspicious or unfamiliar to you. The next thing you need to search for in the start menu is the task scheduler. Once you open it, click on Task Scheduler Library from the top left and carefully look through the names of the different tasks, looking for anything that's oddly named. If you think a particular task is suspicious, right-click it, go to Properties, check what triggers it in the Triggers tab, and check what action it performs in the Action tab. If the action is to start a particular program, pay close attention to the location name of that program. Doing so could help you determine if the task is related to the malware. If you think a particular task is malicious, right-click it again and select Delete. Now it's time to visit Registry Editor. Type regedit in the Start menu, then right-click on the icon that appears, select Run as Administrator, and click Yes. Be very careful when making changes here, because deleting the wrong thing can cause all sorts of problems in your PC. For this reason, we recommend backing up your registry. Go to File, click on Export, then ensure that the export range is set to All, and save the registry backup file under a name of your choice. If you want to restore from the backup, go to File, Import, select the backup file, and click Open. Once the backup is ready, the first thing you should do is go to the Edit menu, click Find, and type the name of the malware. Then click on Find Next to see if anything comes up. If you find anything, right-click on it, delete it, and then search again. Rinse and repeat until all related items are deleted. The next step is to run a malicious software removal tool. This is a built-in Windows program that scans the system for common types of malware and attempts to delete them. To open it, press together the Windows key plus R, then type MRT and hit Enter. Then simply select Next. Choose the Full Scan option and click Next again to begin the scan. The process may take a bit depending on how much data you have on your PC. In our case, it took around 30 minutes. After the tool finishes its scan, you can get a report, where you can see all the detected and removed items. If nothing is found, it'll just say that the system is clean from any types of malware that the tool detects. Hopefully, doing this will get rid of any remaining bits of malware in your system. Now that you've performed a thorough system cleanup, all that's left to do is take care of your browser. This process is slightly different for each browser, so we'll show you how to clean Chrome, Firefox, and Edge. Click the three dots menu and click Extensions and see what extensions are installed in Chrome. We recommend removing all extensions that you don't recognize, don't need, or don't remember installing. If clicking on the Remove button doesn't directly delete the extension, then first click the Toggle button to disable it, and then quickly click on Remove again. Click the three dots menu and go to Settings. Open Privacy and Security from the left and click on Clear Browser Data. Make sure you're on the Advanced tab and check everything except passwords and other sign-in data and click the Clear Data button. Also, scroll down to Site Settings and one by one check each Permissions and Content category for sites that you don't trust. If you find any unknown or untrusted sites listed in any of those sections, click the three dots next to their entries and click Remove. Now go to Appearance from the left and see if there's any custom URL written in the Home button section. If there is, and you don't recognize it, delete it. Also visit the Search Engine tab. Make sure that the default search engine is on the one you want, and then go to Manage Search Engines. 
look for unknown and questionable search engines, and if you find any, click the three dots next to it and click remove. Head over to the On Startup tab. Check if the third option is selected there. If you spot any odd looking URLs listed, go ahead and remove them as well. In Firefox, first click the puzzle icon in the top right, then click Manage Extensions and delete any unwanted or unfamiliar extensions from the browser. Next, click on the three horizontal lines in the top right, access settings, and then open the Home tab. See if there are any unusual URLs added to the home page, new windows, and new tab settings, and if so, delete them. Then pay a visit to the search tab and make sure that the default search engine is the one you want. Also, scroll down to the table of search engines that Firefox can use. If you see anything fishy there, select it and then select remove. Moving to the privacy and security, scroll down until you get to the cookies and site data and click on clear data. Make sure that both boxes are checked and click on clear. Lastly, go down to the permission section, open the settings on each category and remove any questionable URLs. Once you open Microsoft Edge, go to the three dots menu and click on Extensions, then click on Manage Extensions button when the pop-up appears. On the page that opens, look for suspicious extensions and delete anything you find. Then open the Edge menu again and click on Settings. First, go to the Privacy tab. Click on Choose what to clear under Clear Browser Data, leave only passwords unchecked, and then click on Clear Now. Next, scroll down to the very bottom of this section and click on Address Bar and Search. Change the default search engine if you don't want or trust the current one, then click on Manage Search Engines. If you see anything sketchy there, click the three dots menu and click Remove. Next, check the Start, Home, and New tab section for suspicious URLs that need to be deleted. Finally, go down to the Cookies and Site Permissions, check the various permissions categories for any suspicious sites, and delete anything unwanted that you find. So this was our in-depth guide on how to remove the malware from your system and browsers. If you still have any questions, suggestions, or you have any other removal methods that could work here, be sure to leave them as a comment below.